This is the daily video update for Wednesday, November 10th, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Last night, um, the congregation's re-entry task force met to consider our re-entry plans uh, given the COVID-19 pandemic and the, the changes that have happened over the last few weeks. It was a long conversation and a rich one. Um, and uh, over the course of today, we're, we're trying to get out the results of that meeting, both through e-blasts on our website in this video. Um, so we'll, we'll have it in writing lots of places and we'll talk about these changes as well on Sunday. But for now, to give a brief overview. Um, at our meeting last night, we considered the, the changes in the external environment that we've had since we, we passed our original plan back in March of 2021. Since then, uh, the COVID-19 vaccines uh, have become fully available um, and fully FDA approved. And what we've seen in our congregation is that most of the adults in our congregation are now vaccinated. In addition, um, children ages 5 to 11 are now eligible to be vaccinated, although they will not be fully vaccinated until probably somewhere in December of this year. The health department has clarified that um, as long as masks are required, they have not seen uh, many outbreaks related to church activities here in Lincoln. And, and this is a, a critical part for me, our live streaming option is running smoothly uh, and, and professionally every Sunday, which allows for simultaneous participation for folks both here in person at 6300 A Street and at home on Sunday morning. So given all of those shifts since we originally passed our plan, we, we considered some changes and, and in fact are putting in place a few changes. So here's what they are. The church is going to remain open for in-person worship services and small group meetings through Orange on the risk dial. We're still going to have some limited capacity. We're still going to ask people to register in advance. But unless we get all the way up to sort of the red area of the risk dial, um, will remain in person on Sunday morning and for, for small groups that wish to meet. That's a big change. Um, and that means that we, we are going to be open this Sunday for an in-person in worship service. Now, one of the reasons that we are comfortable doing that is that we are going to start requiring that adults participating in in-person worship or other activities here at 6300 A Street are vaccinated, right? We've talked about this a lot, and we will talk about it again on Sunday, about how vaccination is, is fully in line with what we preach and believe as Unitarian Universalists. It is also a public health um, intervention that we know works. There is solid data over the last six months. There is solid data from the FDA that this is fully approved now. So we're comfortable moving forward requiring that that be a condition of in-person participation. Now, we are going to allow people to attest that they have a medical exemption. That's, that's real, and we know that that's the case for some of our folks. And if you choose not to get vaccinated, um, or your risk tolerance does not, um, uh, is not comfortable attending in person yet, that's why we have a, a robust live streaming option. For folks to participate without being here in person. Other changes are a little bit smaller. We're no longer going to require small groups to maintain a six-foot distance while they are meeting as small groups. Um, that was uh, the risk-benefit calculus on that um, in the end was, was that it probably uh, was creating more hardship than, than, it was, uh, than it was helping. We're going to modify our capacity limits to better fit the, the size of our rooms and base them on what room events are in rather than the type of events they're in. And while we're not yet going to restart coffee hour after church on Sunday morning, we are going to allow small groups and rentals to have food and drink at their events at their discretion. So that's a lot of, of different changes. We're going to, again, have all of this in writing in the e-blast that goes out today. Um, and uh, probably again on Friday, um, and, uh, and we'll talk about it uh, at the worship service on Sunday. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of you in person um, this week. I'm, I'm excited about these changes. I think it 
brings us more in line with the, the situation we are in now. Um, and, uh, and we will continue to reevaluate and, uh, and assess our response and, and our external conditions um, on a weekly and monthly basis. Have a great night, everybody, and I will see you uh, tomorrow where we will be back to the discussion prompts on memory. See you soon.